Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but I'm freaking cold and I want my furnace to work. All right, well, let's figure it out. All right, it's gonna be a little hard to read here, but right now our fan is on auto. System is off. It's so reading 45 degree in the house. We're gonna go ahead and update our system. Now it's on heat. Correction. Now it's on heat. Fans on auto, reading 45, set point is 70. Now down to the furnace. So you can hear, receive the signal. The blower is going, waiting for the system to start. All right, there goes the gas. But the gas kicked off. Can no longer hear the flames going. The fans are still going. It's blowing probably cold air right now. Oh, there goes the heat again. And it's off. Fan's still going. Let's see if our heat tries one more time before the safety switch just kills it all. Hear the heat kills out. All right, there's our heat, flames are going, but it keeps killing out. All right, kill the power, start working on this. All right, so what we got going on here is gas is coming in down the line, hitting our switch here, and then gas continues down and the gas will go out through those lines to which fan will blow the heat up. Um, right here on the left, you can see this little dingle hopper hanging down is your flame igniter. Um, these, uh, well, some older units will use pilot lights, but here this just a little electric rod heats up. So it'll turn bright red, um, so then beyond uh, it turning super hot. All it needs is just a little bit of gas. It ignites a flame and just like a gas grill, it'll ignite all these down the line. Then on our far side here, this little thingamajigger, which you can see has a pole that goes down, um, is our flame sensor. So that flame sensor itself, what happens is it is detecting if there's actually flames coming out because if we have flames coming out or the system thinks flames are coming out but really it's just spewing gas well we want a safety mechanism to say whoa, whoa whoa stop no flames are coming out so that's what this thing is it detects if there are flames coming out or not now the trick is over time of flames hitting it over and over again you can see it gets kind of dirty so when it gets dirty it hinders its true readings of if it is um, accurately reading flames or not. So what we're gonna do today, clean this one up and that should be all it takes to get this uh, back to go, um, back to a good operating method. Wow, just back to operational. Um, you can use a $1 bill just to scratch all this remnants off. But since I actually did a little plan of heading, planning ahead rather, um, this is like literally five bucks on Amazon. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this. This is like your little mail-in. This little sheathing here with color is your female in. All you gotta do, see if I can do this. Oop. Can't do that. All right, so all you gotta do, pop this off. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Literally just pops out. Grab yourself your new one. And shimmy it into place. I'm not sure I can do this with one hand. All right, now that we got our new one in place here, go ahead, feed it back in the hole, grab your screw, fasten that and secure it nice and tight into place. All right.
All right, once that is tightened into place, you can see it's ready to read if a flame is coming out. Beyond that, our igniter is ready to ignite. All we need to do is get ourselves some power. So we'll see what this looks like from the inside now. Turn on our power. All right, so now we're up here to tell our thermostat, which power kills to it when I hit the switch down there. Don't really care about setting dates. It is set to, hard to see for you guys, system set to heating mode. Fan is set to auto. Currently we're reading 44 degrees inside. Ooh. And we want it to be 70. We'll hear a tick here in a second. There's the tick. So that tick is the thermostat saying to the furnace that we need heat. <laughs> then for the furnace to activate, first it turns on the blower. Start pushing air throughout the house. And you see here, the igniter heats up. So we're about to release some gas. Wait for the tick. There's the gas. Sensor over there is reading that we do have heat. Or, sorry, sensor is reading that we do have a flame. So because of that, it should send a signal back to the main that says we are good to continue. If it registered no flame, then that means that we're releasing gas without Oh, and there goes the fans. All right, but that is how the cookie crumbles. Go ahead and put your cover back on and we're done.